Okay, and one of the final portions of our first phase of our facility transformation here, upgrade basically, we're putting in the scales in the adjustable alley uh, by AeroQuip here. The load bars that we're using are the True Test, the MP600s. Underneath the alley, as well as the entire chute area, we set it all off the ground about an inch and a half, just so we didn't have the framework sitting right flat on the ground here, kind of prevent long-term corrosion or any of that wear and tear as it just sits against the ground. I'm not a big fan of that. You know, this stuff is cost, you know, is an expense, and we want to take care of them. The way that we fasten these down, what we have the framework sitting on is basically six by sixes with a piece of composite material on top of that, a structural composite. We centered the load bars at from that point there. You will see the, oops, the fastening bolts for the platform. The receiving female is there, obviously on each end. And from that point to the center on this end of the holes is 80 and 3 quarters inches. We kept it tighter to the back end of the alley simply because we could fill it in a little bit better with material at the front end for them to walk on and basically with their you know if they're in there the correct way their head will be at the end that I'm standing at right now and their feet will be more centered on the actual bars themselves on the platform so we're holding it back from this particular alleyway where the load bar is four inches from the back interior of the framework and two and a quarter inches from each side to the gold part you see on the load bar itself. That's kind of the dimension, that's the reference point that we used. So now what we're going to be doing is installing the platform onto this. We're using the, we ran the cords for it, or data cable, whatever you want to call it, just out the side, we're probably going to strap them on the framework, and we have the bracket, the mounting plate for the receiver on the top channel of the adjustable side, so it can kind of float with it. We're using the EW5i to start with here for our the digital scale part, the receiver. Um, possibly contemplating upgrading from that at a later point. But that's how we've done it. Uh, we don't have necessarily the opportunity or the real need or to put concrete down like you often see. These are loaded right on the concrete. We're trying to be as cost conscious as we can. And personally, I like the bareness of this because then you can wash it all off and it will percolate right into the ground after we pressure wash it out and we're done using it. So, once we get the scale on, I'm sorry, once we get the platform on, we will take another final, final video here and see how it all, uh, all works and comes together and functions. Have a great day.